Ready to learn how to take your open houses up a notch? If you're a real estate agent, you've likely experienced the steep learning curve when it comes to achieving success in the market. One of the most important practices in home selling is the open house. A successful open house can result in many home buyers putting in offers, and if a listing agent gets multiple offers that same day, it's pretty safe to say the open house wasn't just a success, but incredible. So how do you host one of these wildly successful and incredible open houses? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Noel with Jotform. And in today's video, we'll go over some best practices for an open house and give you some tips on which actions to take before, during, and after the event. So come on, take your shoes off, stay a while. We've got some great info ahead. Once you know an open house is in your future, you should immediately start planning your advertising across multiple channels. These channels include email, social media, your real estate website, other websites like realtor.com and Nextdoor, real estate apps like Zillow, a multiple listing service, direct mail, and open house signs. Getting the word out about an upcoming open house as soon as possible helps prospective home buyers make plans to attend. You want to get the most foot traffic as possible, so identifying the best day and time to hold your open house is critical to your success. People like to search for a home on weekends when they're off work and have some time to visit many open houses or schedule multiple showings with their realtor. Mid-morning and early afternoon hours tend to draw the largest crowds. Just like when you have guests over to your own home, it makes a great first impression to have your showing in tip-top shape. Let the homeowners know what they can do to make the house as attractive as possible to potential buyers during the open house. Since you'll most likely have other showings for the property, these efforts should start with a thorough cleaning and decluttering. Ask your clients to pack away personal items like photographs and trophies. The goal is to help prospective buyers imagine themselves living there. That can be a bit harder for them to do when they see other people's pictures and personal belongings throughout the house. Aim for a camera-ready look. Whether you're a seasoned realtor or new to the biz, building your database of contacts, customers, and leads is critical to closing deals. It helps to use tech solutions like JotForm to collect and track data and potentially qualify more homeowners and home buyers. For example, you can use JotForm to collect RSVPs for events, fill out applications, check qualifications, and track visitors who come to your open houses. Plan to have these forms available, perhaps on a tablet, for buyers and buyer's agents who stop by. You'll feel and look prepared. So you've prepared and taken all the necessary steps prior to your open house. Now it's time to open the doors. During the open house, focus on making the home feel more inviting. Here's a list of best practices that will help increase the potential of a home sale during the event. On open house day, remove all vehicles from the driveway and in front of the home so buyers can appreciate the curb appeal as they arrive. Make the house as bright as possible. Open up those drapes and blinds to let natural light in. Turn on inside lights as well. Ask your client to lock up or take their pets with them when they're away during the open house. Also remove any toys, litter boxes, and food and water bowls. Create a display board that shows the house throughout the year so buyers get a good idea of maintenance required and aesthetics for each season. Print colorful flyers with photos and info about the house like square footage, bedrooms and bathrooms, standout features, and asking price. Set out business cards as well so visitors can take all the info with them. Be prepared to answer questions. Topics like homeowners associations, schools, grocery stores, crime and safety, and freeways usually come up. Approach your open house like it's a party in your home. Hospitality is the priority, so offer refreshments and light snacks. Be sure to greet each visitor with a smile and encourage them to sign in and look around on their own. Once they've finished touring the property, ask if they have questions. Get feedback about what they think of the home. Their input could help you and the homeowner make adjustments if necessary to any issues that may inhibit offers. Last on our list of best practices, don't stress. Even if you don't receive an offer at the open house or the next day, don't think that your open house failed. Some serious buyers may need more time to weigh options, get a pre-qualification letter, 
or find a real estate professional to represent them. Any or all of the visitors may become potential clients. So remember, it's not just about selling the house to them, but the potential to sell many more to them in the future. That even means the nosy neighbors who stop by the open house. They may want to work with you when they're ready to sell. With these open house best practices in your arsenal, you'll be selling homes and making long-term clients in no time. Let's do a quick review. Planning and executing your open house just got easier with these seven steps. First, advertise across multiple channels. Getting the word out is key. Second, plan the best day and time to host your open house. Third, prepare the home for showing. Fourth, use technology to collect, track, and qualify your information. Fifth, follow best practices like clearing vehicles from the front, supplying flyers and business cards, and treating the open house like a party for friends with snacks, refreshments, and a friendly greeting. Sixth, encourage your guests to spend ample time exploring and asking questions. Last, don't stress. Well, thanks for stopping by. I'm Noel with JotForm. See you next time.